So with Storm Eunice on its way to the UK, I decided it was time to catch a plane and visit the island of Madeira. Not a place I had previously visited, but with some great golf, nice food, great views from some amazing hotels, it seems like the perfect time for a short break and of course, a golf challenge awaits. So something a bit different this week. I am on the island of Madeira, which looks a really pretty island from what I've seen of it so far. But there's three golf courses I'm going to be playing and some interesting challenges. And it starts off here today at Polero Golf Club. Right, okay, so first challenge hole of the day is the six. 475 meters, it's a par five stroke two. As you can see from the drone footage, it looks to me like it's all about position off the tee rather than the distance. So we're gonna go with hybrid off the first. Couple of bunkers um, that I think are reachable for driver, but I don't think if I stay left of that right bunker, if that makes sense, we should be okay. So that's, I've got the right line and I don't think it's long enough to reach that bunker. Or is it? Get down. Oh! Well, it's bounding along. It's certainly going to reach those bunkers and uh, maybe I got the wrong club there. We should have gone driver and bombed it over the top. Anyway, we'll see what's up there. That was really good clubbing by me, wasn't it? Because uh, I tried to play safe to avoid these bunkers and I've ended up bounding into one. Well, it's not a it's not a uh, huge face and I'm also on a bit of an upslope, so I reckon I'm going to go 8 iron. Green is sort of tucked away around the corner. There's an amazing uh, backdrop that you can see to the right. Let's see if we can just get this one out. I'm back in some kind of uh, position for the third. I'm really happy with that. Caught that really nice off the top. And we should be in good nick. Right, so happy with that, we've got ourselves back in position. We've got 109, you can see the flag on the horizon. But the thing about these uh, greens so far is they're lightning quick. The pro said to us before we went out that they're playing slow. So I don't know whether that was a bit of a uh, tongue in cheek, but they're really sharp. And also, if you miss the green, uh, put it on the fringe or leave yourself a distance from the flag, it's very difficult to get up and down or make a two put. So what I'm saying is we've got to get this close. Oh, and if that's the right yardage, go a bit, go a bit, go a bit. Oh, there. oh, don't go in. Right, and the way you've just seen the last end of it just kicked off and rolled off to the right-hand bunkers. We're on that fringe, but that's not too bad. It was just a couple of yards too short. Right, so as a quick reminder, I've got two for the win effectively at stroke index two. I'd be getting a shot here. Let's see if we can make that two put that I said was uh, not too easy. Right, get the pace right. That's got to roll out a bit. That's got to roll out a little bit further. Ah, short. And I said how quick these greens were and maybe a little bit fearful of it. Come on, firm and in the middle. Yeah, okay. Left a little bit of a nervy one, but we walk off there with a five. And like I said, if you've not been around and watched the channel for a good few years, man versus golf hole is very, very simple. I play the stroke indexes on the card. So at stroke index two, I was getting a shot made a par. And we start off with a win. in the challenge is another par five and uh, it's a 12th hole it's stroke index one i might be choosing these just because i get a shot i'm not sure but it's a real interesting hole i drove by the green earlier on i think it was on the ninth hole and there's so much movement in it it looks really interesting but we've got to get to the green first of all um 
all uphill with the tee shot. As you can see from the drone footage, it kind of weaves itself a little bit from, um, from right to left. So the idea for me is I'm going to go at that bunker that we can see center of screen. What we don't want to do, try and move it if we can, just a little bit to right to left. Got it on the bunker, is it moving enough? Keep moving ball. Oh, that's a drive and the bunker is way out of reach. We've managed to turn it around a little bit and we're in the center of the fairway, happy with the start. Not sure where that bunker's in play. It's certainly not reachable by me and that was a pretty decent drive to be fair. So I'll pick these holes because I love a hole with a bit of sort of shape to it, just a not straightforward, uh, everything like laid out in front of you. So as you can see, like I said, still sort of pathway weaves itself down the left. We've got bunkers in front of us. I'm going to go hybrid, try and get another couple of hundred yards and leave a wedge in, so all about position. It's just a shame we're not a month or two on and we've got all the trees in full sort of bloom and that green down that left hand side would look absolutely stunning. Anyway, let's see if we can get, like I said, a ball in play or in position rather. We go high right because it seems that everything's going to camber down. I think that's good, is it? Scooting along. I reckon we're in good nick there. I think the sun's coming out as well. Right, okay, so we've got basically 100 in. I can't see the base of the flag. And like I said, I know this green is sort of all over the place from where uh, when I drove past earlier. So it's a case of ride at it. New wedges and not 100% uh, dialed in in terms of a yardage either. There's so many excuses and It's, I'm holding my breath because I think that should be just front right or is it popped into a bunker? I'm not, a front left rather. It wasn't a great shot, like I said, a bit unsure, but uh, I don't know, I cannot see. Maybe you can better than me. There's a hump right in the middle and then down to, uh, down to the hole. Two from here is, um, well, unlikely. That's a positive mindset. Up to the top. top. What that needed, maybe just a yard more, and that would have been very good because everything from now is just right down to the slope, uh, down the slope to the hole. Right. So don't forget, I'm getting a shot. So this would be for the win, but we've got two to halve the hole with the course. This green is fantastic. All right, come on. Can we nail it? You see it rolled down to the hole now. It was a tentative and weak effort. We'll finish off just so we keep things all above board. So that's a six, net five, that's a half. So we're going down to the final hole to see who wins this challenge at Polero. So I am here for five days um, between Madeira and Porto Santo, but what you will see is me play three different golf courses. And if you like any of what you see, I'm gonna put a link down below, which is to the Madeira Golf Passport. And that means you get to play all three of the courses at a reduced rate. So well worth doing that. We've got one final hole to play. It's man versus golf hole challenge yet. Right, okay, final hole in the challenge, we've waited till the 17th. This has worked out really interesting because we've looked at this in one or two ways. I've played hole stroke index one, stroke index two, and would you believe we've thrown 17, which is stroke index three. So I either did that to ensure I got a shot on each hole, or arguably I've took on the toughest three holes in the challenge. Anyway, who's gonna be the winner? If you see from the drone footage, it's extremely tight. And as a lot of these holes here, the camber is really against where you wanna be going. We're going over the brow, a little bit blind. Commit and, and let's see if the hybrid can do what it's done so far, which now bit some pretty decent shots. Oh, 
that's as good as I've got. Now I don't know what lies over the brow, but that's where I was aiming, that's all I can do. We keep our fingers crossed now, but that should leave its place 328 metres. I got a couple of hundred yards out of that, there's no doubt, and it's running, so I don't think we've got a lot in if we're in the right position. Right, really interesting. I did say to you the camera was left to right in terms of where well, you want to hug the left is the shortest route to the hole. Everything's kicking you down this side and over that cart path and you're in the scrub. Anyway, we've held on. Um, the flag is on the, we can just see the tip of the flag. It's playing 140. I'm playing eight iron. And let's see if we can finish off with an iron shot and get the win. Bit of an awkward stance is the excuse this time. I was forcing against that to make sure I didn't fall off it. Oh, that's an horrendous bounce off that left-hand side that a little bounce would have done me a bit of a favour, but I'm not sure if that's going to scoot right over to the right-hand side. But yet again, with this golf course, we won't find out until we get up there. My ball seems to be travelling just a little bit further, but it's a really narrow green. It's a small target and you can see how much the bank backs up at the sides. I've kicked off of that bank and finished in this back end. 58 wedge is the plan. Go on, it's got to roll out a bit. Roll out just a bit more. Just give me a chance. Oh, do you know what? I'm happy with that. It's not too bad. The greens are so tricky. As I say, you only have to literally overshoot it a little bit and the ball's going past for miles. So we've ended up, after our three-hole challenge, with uh, well, a little bit of a, a one-put shootout. We've got uh, a put for the win, or two for the half. Can we start this little trip off with a victory in the man versus golf hole challenge? You can see I'm taking a little bit of time. Flags come out. I've been a little bit scared of the put so far in terms of not wanting to over race anything. So let's see if we can be positive without being too bold and racing this one past a little bit off the right i think if i've got it red oh my word well it was a little bit too again too fast just horseshoed and unfortunately made what is uh was a bogey five but it's uh it's a half in terms of the card don't forget stroke index three so that's me done uh it's first challenge we have halved um really quirky golf course would love to play it again i think second time round, you really know need to know where you need to plot your ball interestingly the sun's coming out so it's time to finish and go and get something to drink and eat because the clubhouse looked very nice in terms of the views that we'll see in uh, in the next five minutes or so Right, so the golf has finished for this morning, uh, day job done, almost. It's now uh, sort of 2.30 in the afternoon and we've brought, been brought to this, uh, well, pretty special location for something to eat. 